lovers of arts, creative minds, and hands. I'm here live at Visitedo Art Gallery, a gallery filled with great Bini artifacts. I'm here to talk about this painting executed by me, which I titled The Birth of a New Era. My name is Smart Osaboye, a graduate from the School of Art and Industrial Design in the Federal Polytechnic County, Nigeria, Edo State. My areas of discipline are mixed media painting, art installation, and turning waste materials to wet. This painting placed before me is a reference of Queen Eden, who came to limelight in her 20s. Queen Eden was an epitome of love, courage, sacrifice, beauty, and fruitfulness, a virtue which I believe all women should embrace. Queen Eden was one of the wives of Oba Ewakbe, who reigned between 1700 AD to 1712 AD, and his reign lasted for 12 years. Oba Ewakbe was an Oba who has no regard for his subjects, and because of this, his servants and the chief palace saw him as an Oba who was undiplomatic, and because of this, he was deserted. And when things became enigma, he visited his mother's village called Ikoka, and he was humiliated. On his way back to Benin, his servant that accompanied him to Ikoka slumped and died, and he got angry and placed a curse on Ikoka. And that curse is still very infective to date. When Oba Ewakbe got to the palace, he discovered that all the subjects, they have all gone except Queen Eden who comforted and stayed with him. And Queen Eden felt so pathetic because she knew that the king has made a terrible mistake. So they decided to consult an oracle and were instructed that what the Benin kingdom need to be redeemed is a human sacrifice. So because there was no one left at the kingdom as at that time, Queen Eden decided to offer herself and made a request that on no account should anyone trade of step foot on a grave that whoever there should be killed. After the sacrifice was carried out by Obaye Wakbe, prominent chiefs started paying homage to the kingdom. Other chiefs came to pledge their loyalty, bringing goods, wealth, and unity and peace We are restored. Here we have the Eben. Eben is an ornamental staff which represents honor and emblem that represents the kingdom. Eben, which Yoba uses to salute and give high regard to his ancestors during public performance or call it public display. Here we have Ada. Ada is carried along with the Oba by the servants known as Ovien, which is also used to pass death sentence to anyone that defies the Oba order. Ada symbolizes judgment, life, and death. This is what we call Okuku in Benin, decorated with bead. Bead, which symbolizes beauty, royalty, and honor. Here we have the cowries. Cowries, which simply means the currency used by our forefathers in the olden days. Without cowries, you cannot trade, you cannot buy, you cannot sell. Cowries were seen as a means of exchange of goods and services. Here is what the Benin called Okman. Okman is what the Benin used to make sacrifice in the old days. And it's still very common to date in some remote community here in the Benin Kingdom. In conclusion, I want to use this medium to commend Visit Edo for the minute fit to set aside February 14th to celebrate this great woman, Queen Eden of the Benin Kingdom, she really defined love and sacrifice. Visit <laughs>